Max Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Sugar's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. His ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. I want to see some heads. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12 rounder. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Sugar. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Let's move! You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Blocks that belt line well. the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Just off the mark with that punch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Left hand by Raging Bull. Focus. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there right now. Okay. Great round now. Back Three. and forth after he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Sugar's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Last 10 seconds of this first round. I shake it off. Gets rid of that effort. How All about right, that? Three, what a round three, we just saw. Both men were more. able to get to the other. Both men seemingly good? hurt in right. that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, 
It's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. We caught you with your hands down, so let's keep them up, all right? You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. That right hand serving him well. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Hey, you gotta get some of that. He really digs on, in go. when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Sugar's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Look at that. And he goes down for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Nice work with the uppercut. Nice, nice. Sugar's way punch didn't have a chance. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be. That's a huge left he just scored with. Big shot there. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. Six. It's over. This fight is over. Sugar's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was no sweat on him, and he got starched. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.